Kia ora. Stroke is New Zealand's second single biggest killer and the leading cause of serious adult disability. Currently, in New Zealand, there are 60,000 stroke survivors. Each year, there'll be about 9,000 Kiwis who will have a stroke. Now, you put your calculator over that, that's about one every hour, and it's expected to increase by about 40% in the next 10 years. Sadly, over 2,000 Kiwis each year will die of stroke. You know, that's more deaths from stroke than from breast or from prostate cancer. The Stroke Foundation is the only national charity in New Zealand focused on prevention and recovery from stroke. For almost 40 years, we have actively promoted ways to avoid stroke and dedicated ourselves to working closely with survivors across the country. Let me introduce you to some of our vital services. We have 25 community stroke advisors, CSAs, working across the country. They work with the stroke survivors, their whānau and their carers to achieve the best possible outcomes for stroke. CSAs discuss, develop a plan to meet the survivors' needs and of course how to achieve those goals. They also provide support and information and advice to build a knowledge base and the skills necessary for recovery. They liaise with stroke clubs, with community groups and in fact across the whole network in the community to ensure that stroke survivors are getting the right services. This year we've supported 4,000 stroke survivors and their families and that adds up to 34,000 hours of support. Stroke survivors are often in a state of stress because their lives have been thrown into chaos. On top of that, they're having to deal with both the physical, emotional and sometimes behavioural damage that a stroke can cause. Each situation is unique, so as you can imagine, my job can be pretty varied. CSAs provide everything from education, goal setting and advocacy to encouragement, empowerment and emotional support. Seeing somebody go from a place of high anxiety to having a spring in their step is actually pretty rewarding. We help them reconnect with their family, friends, colleagues and community and that can be an emotional time for a stroke survivor and CSAs are there to help provide that support. I was 31 and I had some mini strokes but I didn't know what they were. It took about a year for me to walk again after my first stroke. Um, it was so scary because we were on our own none of us knew what we were doing and my baby was 18 months old so my thing that made me walk again was my kids, being there for my kids. And then I had the big stroke in the middle of the night. I had my stroke nine years later, um, I was in hospital for about a month and I got really depressed and down. But this time I was told about the Stroke Foundation. Having Paula with me just made me feel great, I, I felt like we had support. I felt like we just had someone to rely on and give us knowledge about things that were available to us that we didn't know about after the first stroke. She made a real difference. If you've been employed and you have a stroke, getting back to work can be incredibly important in terms of that recovery, both physically and emotionally. Our Return to Work service provides the expertise and support to guide stroke survivors through that process of returning to gainful employment. Our free service is available to stroke survivors under the age of 65 in the Greater Auckland and Christchurch regions. Of the 188 survivors who have joined the programme so far, more than half have already returned to work. Many stroke survivors want to get back to work as soon as possible to regain their independence after such a devastating blow. But if it's not approached in the right way, they can have serious setbacks. A big part of the job is education, understanding aspects of stroke and stroke recovery people may not be aware of. But it's also about educating employers who may not have had experience in working with employees who are recovering from stroke. This is really why our work is so important. The hardest thing for me was accepting the fact that I wasn't going to go back to work until I was more healed. And Rochelle just she helped me through that, I think because I was really wanting to go back to work. I was really worried that they wouldn't hire me because I've had strokes. So I think it's really fearful of being rejected. Rochelle just said to me to be honest with them about what I can and can't do. And a stroke doesn't define who you are. I felt great when I 
got a job. My new job is at St Dom's College. Um, I am the premier coach there now, which after my stroke I'd never thought I'd get the opportunity to work with a school again. So I just really am looking forward to it. The National Stroke Clinical Network was formed in 2011 as a Stroke Foundation initiative funded by the Ministry of Health. It's made up of doctors, allied health professionals, nurses, hospital managers and former stroke patients. And the key aims of the network are to drive improvements in stroke treatment and care throughout the health system, along with improvements and outcomes in rehabilitation. You know, three quarters of strokes are preventable. So we'll keep working with our vital awareness campaigns and health promotion programs. And as part of that, continue to work closely with medical professionals in order to save thousands of lives. We have a dedicated health promotion team who raise awareness of the risk factors for stroke and promote the many ways to reduce these risks. I hope you've seen our FAST campaigns and our Big Blood Pressure Check campaign. The team also have dedicated resources and programs for high risk groups, and they include Māori and Pacifica. High blood pressure is the number one modifiable risk factor for stroke. Around one in five New Zealanders has high blood pressure and a staggering one third of those people don't know it. The good news is, is that high blood pressure can be managed and controlled through regular checks and healthy lifestyles like reducing your salt intake and if necessary medication, the chances of stroke can be greatly reduced. Thanks to our Big Blood Pressure Check campaign and our new Big Blood Pressure Check van in partnership with Ryman, we've been able to provide a whopping 35,000 free blood pressure checks to the public this last financial year. So, I hope you've been able to gain a better understanding of the effects of stroke on New Zealand and New Zealanders, and also a stronger understanding of the Stroke Foundation, our critical services and the outcomes that we've achieved. Together, we can support the health and well-being of all New Zealanders. Thank you. <laughs>